Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 52. Class 52. Let's go! Beginner, welcome back, friends and students. Welcome to class 52. That's right, yes. Getting started now, I say welcome back because yeah, you've been with me for 51 classes. So welcome back to another class. Welcome back, yes. You're with me every day, right? The same time every day. And it's a great way to practice, and it's important to review, repasar. It's important to review things. So we will start, as always, with a little review of the material we were practicing yesterday. Now, I hope you are doing okay with the material. I hope you're not having too many problems. If you have questions, be sure to write on the website, bauganingles.com, you can enter the website. You can go into the website. Log in with your password, contraseña, your password, and you can send us a question or any questions or comments that you have, and we would be happy, we will be happy to help you when you do that, okay? Very good. So now, <clears throat> let's move on with a review. Yesterday we were practicing, I have a pen. I have a pen too, but I don't have a Rolls Royce. And you said, pues, yo no tengo un Rolls Royce tampoco. I don't have a Rolls Royce either. I don't have a house in Africa. And you? I don't have a house in Africa either. And your mother? She doesn't have a house in Africa either. And your sister? She doesn't have a house in Africa either. And Alberto? He doesn't have a house in Africa either. Okay? He doesn't either. Tampoco. No podemos decir either. Solamente uh, he, he either. Eso no vale. Porque no, eso no es negativo. Either no es negativo. Hasta que digamos not either here. He doesn't have tal either. Okay? So, I don't have 10 million euros. And you? I don't have 10 million euros either. No. Yeah. I don't have a sports car. A red sports car. And Fitz? He doesn't have a red sports car either. No. I don't have a mansion in Finland. A mansion, a very big house. I don't have a mansion in Finland. And you? I don't have a mansion in Finland either. I don't have an apartment in Florida. And you? I don't have an apartment in Florida either. And Alberto? No, tampoco. He doesn't have an apartment in Florida either. I don't have relatives in Mongolia. And you? I don't have relatives in Mongolia either. And Leila? No, she doesn't have relatives in Mongolia either. Okay. I don't have a company in Algeria. And you? I don't have a company in Algeria either. I don't have a restaurant in Alicante. And you? I don't have a restaurant in Alicante either. I don't have every Rolling Stones album. And you? I don't have every Rolling Stones album either. I don't have a diamond necklace. Un collar de diamantes. I don't have a diamond necklace either. 
Well, I, I don't have a diamond necklace. And you? I don't have a diamond necklace either. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have a dog. Do you, and you? I don't have a dog either. Y no tengo gato tampoco. I don't have a cat either. I don't have a dog. I don't have a cat either. I don't have an elephant either. I don't have a tiger either. I don't have a giraffe either. I don't have I don't have any animals. I don't have any animals. And you? I don't have any animals either. Okay. Very good. Now we also practiced yesterday with short answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. So do the auxiliary verb. Yes, I do. Do you have a house in Spain? Yes, I do. So the, the question, do you? In the short answer, yes, I do. The long answer, yes, I have a house in Spain. No se puede decir, yes, I have. No, no, no. Yes, I do. Do you have a house in Spain? Yes, I do. Yes, I have a house in Spain. Or, yes, I do. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. Do you have a car? Yes, I have a car. Pero no se puede decir, yes, I have. No, no, no. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have a watch? Yes, I do. Do you have $10 million? No, I don't. No, I don't have $10 million. Or, no, I don't. La respuesta corta. No, I don't. Do you have an apartment in Canada? No, I don't. Hmm. Do you have relatives in Canada? No, I don't have relatives. Well, yo, yo, see, Kyle, yes, I do. Ask me if I have relatives in Canada. Kyle, do you have relatives in Canada? Yes, I do. I have a lot of relatives in Canada. I have a lot of family members in Canada. Do you have a computer? Yes, I do. Do you have a thousand computers? No, I don't. Do you have a student guide? Yes, I do. Yes, I have a student guide. Pero digamos en tres palabras. Yes, I do. Do you have a vocabulary book? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have um, a Rolls Royce? No, I don't. Does Fitz have a Rolls Royce? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Very good. Do you have 10 million American dollars? No, I don't. Do you have uh do you have a dog? No, I don't. Do you have a cat? No, I don't. Or yes, I do. I don't know the answer. No sé. Si tienes un gato, un perro, pues no estoy seguro. Ask me if I have a dog. Kyle, do you have a dog? No, I don't. Ask me if my mother has a dog. Does your mother have a dog? Does your mother have a dog? No, she doesn't. We will return to this in a moment, this structure. Ask me, ask me, ask me, haciendo preguntas. Pregúntame, pregúntame. But first, let's take a quick break for our... Word of the day. Yes, the word of the day. The word of the day today is... Sentimientos. Feelings. Feelings. Mm, feelings. So... My feelings, mis sentimientos. Please don't hurt my feelings. To hurt someone's feelings, hacer daño. To hurt, hacer daño a los mis sentimientos, we say in English. To hurt one's feelings. If you offend me, you may hurt my feelings. If you say, Kyle, you are an idiot. Eres idiota. Oh, no. You hurt my feelings. Okay? Don't say that. If you call me an idiot, you will hurt my feelings. You will hurt my feelings. Please don't hurt my feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Do you know that song? Sentimientos, nada más que sentimientos, feelings, right? 
Okay, good. Now, ask me if I have a car. Ask me. Pregunta me. Kyle, do you have a car? No, I don't. In Canada, I had a car. Hace años, pero ahora aquí en España, no. I don't have a car because I don't have a place to park. I can't park. No puedo aparcar. No, no, no tengo un sitio. I don't have any place to park. Ask me if I have a house. Kyle, do you have a house? Yes, I do. Ask me if I have a big house. Kyle, do you have a big house? No, I don't. Ask me if I have a small house. Eh, no, I don't. Ask me if I have a medium-sized house. Kyle, do you have a medium-sized house? Yes, I do. I have a medium-sized house. Ask me if I have a dog. Kyle, do you have a dog? No, I don't. I don't have a dog. Ask me if I have a sister. Kyle, do you have a sister? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have a sister. Ask me if I have a brother. Kyle, do you have a brother? Yes, I do. Ask me if I have three brothers. Kyle, do you have three brothers? No, I don't. Ask me if I have a computer. Kyle, do you have a computer? Yes, I do. Ask me if I have a laptop computer. Kyle, do you have a laptop computer? Portátil. A laptop computer? Yes, I do. Ask me if I have a desktop computer. PC. Ask me if I have a desktop computer. Kyle, do you have a desktop computer? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have a desktop computer. No, I don't. Tres palabras. No, I don't. Ask me if I have a pen. Kyle, do you have a pen? Yes, I do. Ask me if I have a blue pen. Kyle, do you have a blue pen? En voz alta. Otra vez. Do you have a blue pen? En casa. Conmigo. Do you have a blue pen? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ask me if I have an apple. Kyle, do you have an apple? Yes, I do. I have an apple. Ask me if I have a student guide. Kyle, do you have a student guide? Guía del alumno? Yes, I have a student guide, of course. I have a student guide. Well, I have a teacher's guide, but I also have a student guide. So I can see what you have. Yes. Ask me if I have a notebook. Kyle, do you have a notebook? Yes, I have a notebook. Ask me if I have a guitar. Kyle, do you have a guitar? Yes, I do. I do. I have a guitar. Ask me if I have a ruler. Kyle, do you have a ruler? Yes, I do. Yes, I have a ruler. Ask me if I have an orange. Naranja. Kyle, do you have an orange? Yes, I do. I have an orange. Ask me if I have a banana. Kyle, do you have a banana? Pues aquí no. No, I don't. I don't have a banana. Do you have an apple? Yes, I have an apple. Do you have an orange? No, I don't have... Well, yes, yes, an orange. Yes, I have an orange. I have an orange and I have an apple, but I don't have a banana. All right, very good. Vocabulary of the day. Time now for our vocabulary of the day. That's right. Our five words. The first word today, mantequilla. Mantequilla. Butter. Butter. There was a commercial in the United States and in Canada on television that said, Butter makes it better. Butter makes it better. It's like, things are better with butter. Las cosas son mejores. Bueno, butter makes it better. La mantequilla lo hace mejor. Butter makes it better. Queso. Cheese. Cheese. Claro. Transparente. Claro o transparente. No, no es claro. Ese claro no. No. Claro o transparente. Clear. Clear. The window is clear. Vaca. Cow. Butter and cheese. We need, we need cows to have butter and cheese, right? Hija. Hija, daughter, daughter, not daughter, but daughter. Hija, daughter. Conmigo, daughter. Tres veces, daughter, 
daughter, daughter, two syllables, daughter. Okay, I don't have a daughter. I don't have a cow. I don't have cheese and I don't have butter. But I have a clear window. Okay, our five words of the day today. Butter, mantequilla. Cheese, queso. Clear, claro, transparente. Cow, vaca, cow. And daughter, hija. All right. It's time to move on now to our translation list. Translation. Yeah, now it's time for translation list number four. The translation list number four here in your book of Gimnasia Gramatical Nivel Básico, the Tu Libro de Traducción en Versa, se dice. Okay, number one. El profesor está aquí. Es verdad. El profesor está aquí. The teacher is here. The teacher is here. No lo sé. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Number three. ¿Dónde está el profesor? Where is the teacher? O con la contracción. Where's the teacher? ¿Dónde está el profesor? Where's the teacher? Pues no lo sé. I don't know. El profesor está aquí. The teacher is here. Okay. Él es, disculpa, él está con un señor alto. He's with a tall man. He's with a tall man. Very good. Number five, el bolígrafo está debajo del libro. The pen is under the book. The pen is under the book. Number six, ¿qué es aquello? What's that? What's that? Aquello, that. Very good. Number seven. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? Number eight. ¿Estás contento? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Espero que sí. Number nine. No estoy en esta clase. En voz alta en casa. I'm not in this house. Ah, uh, disculpa. No estoy en esta clase. Disculpa. I'm not in this class. I'm not in this class. I'm not in this class. Number 10. ¿Eres de Estados Unidos? Are you from the United States? Fíjate que siempre digamos the. The United States. Y not a states, you know. States. The United States. Are you from the United States? Number 11. Soy el nuevo profesor. I'm the new teacher. And number 12. Number 12. ¿Dónde está el antiguo profesor? Where's the old teacher? Where's... On the contracción, where is? Where's the old teacher? I don't know. Okay. Very good. Good job today, everybody. Well done at home. Thank you for listening. We're going to go to the commercial break. And we'll be back with the intermediate class in about three minutes. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.